New developments. The man seen beaten by officers in this viral arrest video could walk out of jail any minute now, but his freedom won't last for long. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons live outside the Clayton County Jail where Roderick Walker is detained in Barmel tonight. A judge has granted him bond. Yes, that's right. The district attorney set a $25,000 bond for Roderick Walker, and now we're just waiting for that to be paid and processed. Our number one priority right now is getting him out of jail, Mr. Walker. Scraped, battered, bruised. Brand new pictures of Roderick Walker's wounds show he's healing after Clayton County officers pinned him on the ground and punched him during an arrest Friday. Officers had pulled over the vehicle Walker was in, demanding his ID, even though he wasn't driving. A bystander starts recording when things escalate. The Clayton County Sheriff's Office has since fired the deputy who threw the punches, but they are not confirming his name or status of the other officers involved. Meantime, Walker stuck spending the weekend in jail, charged with obstruction and battery. Walker's attorney wants to see the officers involved fired. They're counting on prosecutors to do the right thing, but say they can't do anything until they have all the evidence. What happens is the district attorney is to get the warrants and the police report, then they can start prosecuting, but they are still awaiting uh, what we are all waiting for is, you know, the police report. The sheriff's office has yet to release the incident reports or deputies names in the excessive force case. Are there body cameras in this case? If not, why not? Are there dashboard cameras? If not, why not? Walker's attorneys want to know why the lack of transparency. This incident happened Friday around 3 o'clock. We're here Monday evening and we don't have a police report. What type of case is that? And once released, officers from Fulton County may be here waiting for him, ready to detain him for a probation violation. Now, in regards to that, if they, he, they don't show up in regards to 72 hours, then he'll then be released. In Clayton County, I'm Barma Lyons, CBS 46 News.